in a world where Katrina has been waiting to watch season three of Star Trek The Next Generation. Not just Katrina, all, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Everybody has been like, when are they going to get to the good seasons? Y'all, it's happening. We're here. It's happening. It's And I, again, still, I love those first two seasons. I really do. Someone said, someone commented on YouTube, I think, and they uh, said, it's so funny that, or no, it was Patreon. What's up, patrons? Um, someone said, Appreciate it's so you. funny that uh, the two seasons that everyone said they should have skipped and gone through are the two seasons that have turned Katrina into a Trekkie. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You got to watch it. There's, it you, there's too many good things. I sprinkled throughout, you know, like you can't skip that stuff. You you need to see it. That's what uh, I think. And Worf and all. Uh, yeah. just, uh. You need to understand where uh, they're all coming from. I really so think. So good. I'll tell you some of the things that have changed this season. One is uh, Michael Pillar joins the writing staff okay. this season um, and really uh, – becomes very influential in the direction that the show goes in. Mm -hmm. Um, We have a few other big names who join the team this season. Uh, Not quite yet, or is not credited as a writer yet. A couple episodes in, we'll get Ronald D. Moore, who is a name synonymous for me, at least at this point, with Star Trek. Um, And, uh, you know, some other people who become really a huge driving force in just what Star Trek becomes really, uh, you know, the direction that the whole franchise starts moving in. And, um, one of the things that pillar did with the writers was really like honing in on what is the show about? And every episode needs to be about something and it should focus on, our main characters. So if it's a interesting story, but it's about the guest star, it shouldn't be. Let's take whatever's going on with that guest star and make the story about how it's affecting whatever main character we're talking about. Um, Pardon me. And he had them all go through like, Hey, where are all the rejected scripts from the past two seasons? Let's look at them and see, maybe we can fix them. What can you, maybe we can make them work. And some scripts did come back in. With, nice. with new adjustments being made to them. Um, I love when that happens. You're also going like, to notice. Oh, mm-hmm. It's just like, it's it's cool when they do that because it's, instead of just throwing it in the trash and being like, nope, it's fucking garbage. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, 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 let's see what we can pick from it. Like maybe we can actually turn it into something that's like a good story. Uh, and I love when they do shit like that because mm-hmm. it gives that past writer, you know, a chance and I think it's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, They also uh, have a new costume designer comes on this season and you will notice that they have new uniforms. Uh, They're just slightly different. Uh, They were before in like spandex onesies, basically. Yeah. Like one Uh, pieces. Yeah. And the cast was like, these are so unforgiving and so uncomfortable Mm -hmm. and they don't look good on any of us please can we change it and so they worked really hard and it took them part way through the season to really like make all of the adjustments correct but um they've switched now they're in well the women are still in one pieces but the uh the men are take care of the men first (laughs) well they're all like it they're wool now instead of spandex and uh but they still wanted them to look like sleek spandex futuristic outfits so it was like a tricky balance for them to find um but you'll notice they're in two pieces now and you will begin to notice i'm going to point it out when it happens uh Patrick Stewart does something. Is it the shirt tug? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is everyone the Picard maneuver. Is what okay. People I was call like, it. I've I've this, seen every time he people. moves. He see so you'll you'll notice it. Okay. He tugs cool. his shirt down. <laughs> the Picard tug. Mm-hmm. Got it. <laughs> so that I think is everything I want to say as we lead into the first episode. Um, awesome. Those are kind of the big season changes i'm trying to remember if there's do you know if there was like i feel like there would have been like a budget increase based off of the last season Um, i don't know if that would have happened or not you know i don't actually know nothing that i've read specifically talks about a budget increase but there are more episodes this season probably because there was no writer strike no more writer strike so we're Um, back to 26 right i believe so cool 
Let me see. And there he yes, is. Yes, again. Mm -hmm. 26 episodes. Good old 90s. And I believe these were produced 89, 90 was the years, the years that this season span. So we haven't, we haven't quite hit the 90s yet. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. Are you coming in? Paula is not quite in kindergarten yet when this first Paula is not quite there. You just blew everybody's <laughs> mind. <laughs> Almost kindergarten, but not quite. You just blew Katrina, everybody's mind. Katrina, it ain't even born yet. I ain't even born yet. I'm, just, I'm ready. Let's do it. Right. I'm really excited. We, we're going to watch it. The first episode of season three, and it's called Evolution. What a good first title. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wes. Riker to Edson Crusher. Mm. The interstellar counterpart to Earth's old faithful. Five minutes to launch site. <laughs> Stabilize. The ship isn't responding, sir. He threw himself down and rolled. Engineering. <laughs> Checking for failure of inertia dampeners. <laughs> Instruments say they're working. Uh oh. Well, things went bad immediately, didn't they? <laughs> this intro is different. Yes, that is something I forgot to say. They changed Whoa. the title sequence. I totally forgot about that. But yeah, they changed the title sequence for this season. They wanted it to be less about coming out of space and more about going into a new galaxy. So they've changed, changed that here. Oh my god. I gave myself heartburn from laughing at that so much. That was so good. Come on, Jordy, get us out of here. You can do it. I'm gonna cry. Dr. Stubbs, the captain asked me to tell you that our systems are back to normal and we can try another launch attempt as soon as you're ready. Her hair looks so good. <laughs> Literally well, it's going nice to, cry. to be together again. <laughs> I was at Starfleet so Medical excited. for a year. I missed about two inches of him. <laughs> mm. Tell me about him. Well, he's becoming a very fine officer. She missed out like on a whole he works year. Works as hard as any member of the crew. Yeah. Riker says his studies are online. No, tell me about him. him. What's he He's like? His father's son. What's his favorite color? Honest. It's gone. And so is the Borg ship. Are you telling me this is another computer glitch? It is conceivable that he was viewing a synthetically generated image, sir. That our computer was daydreaming? Well, it kind of seems like it. Computer, identify, malfunction immediately. On to Bishop 4. There's not been a systems wide technological failure on a starship in 79 years. Jesus. A lot of years. Excuse me, Captain, but Ooh. just Phelps is waiting outside. Hello. Yeah. I'm sure you have everything under control. Captain, if we miss our chance now, we don't get another for two centuries. There will be many questions asked by Starfleet if the Enterprise fails in its duty. Mm. Mm. I would rather die than leave. I don't believe you speak for the majority. <laughs> yeah. Buddy. No insult intended, but please turn off your beam into my soul. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say somebody had climbed in there and started taking it apart. What did you lose? Guinan. I didn't think anyone would be here. I've never been any good at being confined. I love her outfits. As my husbands will attest. <laughs> as my husbands husband will attest to. I've been studying the nanites we have in the sick bay genetic supplies. They're these little tiny robots with gigabytes of mechanical computer memory. They're designed to enter living Whole cells. Whole gigabytes. 
All right. <sighs> Supposed to remain confined to the lab. And when I woke up, I saw the container had been left open. Whoops. It's just a science project. Yeah, but... <laughs> you know, a doctor friend once said the same thing to me. Frankenstein was his name. They're really harmless. <laughs> when they're equipped with only Cold. the most basic of skills, it's almost impossible they could be responsible. Almost. You won't tell anybody, will you? <laughs> I know. I will. Yeah, yeah. she didn't yeah. have to say she, anything. No, she's like... Shut off the power to the bridge! Jesus. Come on, before. Can you get us out of this star system safely? No. Not now, Doctor. I have seen the great players make the great plays. Do you recreate them on a holodeck? No. In here, men like us do not need holodecks, Wesley. Men like us do not need holodecks. I have played seasons <laughs> in my mind. Listen, the holodeck is fucking cool. <laughs> All right. my reward. Except for myself. when it almost kills you. For patience. And it's not. No, Eden, <laughs> my turn would come. This guy seems pretty obsessed with getting the recognition. <laughs> Trying to live up to that, uh, all the expectations people have. I guess, yeah, maybe. it's his... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he does seem pretty obsessed with it. You can't put everything on your shoulders, Wesley. Even when you're off duty, you're on duty. Mom, you don't understand. He's like, it's you quite literally potentially my fault. I am also an acting officer and I have responsibilities. Look, I have done everything that everyone has asked of me and more. And how can you know? You haven't even been here. I'm here now, Wesley. Oh, come on. That long reaction take on her. It was so what good. So good. Just watch it, like, hit her. Mm -hmm. I think I've made a horrible mistake. Nanites, tiny machines built from the atom up. It's true. I am responsible for this. And they escaped. School project. <laughs> Just how far have these things evolved? Can it be possible they know what they're doing? Why would they attack us? Why does a mosquito bite your ear? And who cares? The answer is simple. Call an exterminator. Stubs. I cannot exterminate something that may or may not be intelligent. <laughs> he's always, yeah, running his hands in his hair. And he's like, I only want to support the science that I want I to support. I do. Yeah. That makes me look good and makes me smart. High level gamma radiation will kill them, Doctor. I know. <gasps> I can't get the story of Gulliver. <sighs> Overpowered by Lilliputians. Nitrous oxide, toxic levels. Working on it, Captain. God, living on this ship would suck. <laughs> yeah, they almost die all the time. I switched to manual control of the air handling system. It is difficult to accept these as random actions by machines with loose screws. In effect, you may have proven that the nanites do have a collective Burn. intelligence. Captain, the ship is at risk. All right, Counselor. What is it that has you so worried? Your single-mindedness. Mm -hmm. Your need to have this experiment work. But it Meaning will. You're willing to risk other the people's has lives. has no choice now. Yeah. He must defend the Enterprise. I don't believe this theory he, this show has that, like, society would get bored with baseball. I just, I don't particularly like baseball, but I don't think... I've never liked baseball. I've scenario. always thought it was boring. Yeah. I just don't think that baseball is just going to go away. No. I think it would evolve. Ah! Are they attacking him? Sure looked like it, didn't it? Now they're going to find a way to communicate. Electromagnetic scanner is ready, Captain. Data's gonna be like, wait. <gasps> yep, there they go. Captain. Communi communicating in binary. Mm hmm. 
I had established contact. Crazy. That's cool. <laughs> Everyone's like... <laughs> Just what if they don't want to give up Data's body, though? You are very... strange... looking... creatures. <laughs> Ooh, they know it's him. I am the one responsible for the deaths in the computer core. We know who you are. Uh. I deeply regret the incident. Captain's log supplemental. Dr. Stubbs has used his influence to have planet Cavis Alpha 4 designated the new home of the Nanite civilization. Oh, shit. Commander Data's neural network has been vacated he has been returned to us unharmed. Yeah. And with the help of the nanites, our computer core has been reconstructed in time for the experiment. They're like a plate of candy. Is that a plate of candy? <laughs> <laughs> and a bourbon? <laughs> Girl? Do you have any children, guys? You do, you. <laughs> a lot. Oh. Ever had any trouble relating to them? Just one. One. Cute couple. See? Now that is hell. <laughs> I mean that as a doctor, not as just a mother. Ah, it is so good to see him having fun for a change with an attractive young woman who obviously looks at him with extraordinary affection. <laughs> what an analysis. What do you know about this girl? <laughs> what a change. <laughs> what do you know about this girl? What a great, like, she's like, oh my god, I'm so happy. Wait a minute, what Wait does this girl do? What's her minute. first and last name? Where does she stay on the ship? How close is she to his room? Uh, <laughs> yeah, have they ever been inside of each other's quarters? I'm, um, now I have questions. Hold now I have on. questions. Um, huh? Dr. Crusher. Dr. Crusher. <laughs> She's back. Yep. Oh. Yep. Now, apparently, from what I've read, they knew they were only going to bring Pulaski on for one season. This okay. is what she has said. She's like, oh, I just agreed to be on for one season, from what I've read. But I don't know if they... I don't think they were originally planning on bringing Crusher back when they let her go, but then they... They did. Uh, yeah, I... Obviously, I don't think they expected to bring her back because of the way she was let mm -hmm. go. Um, it's interesting if they had only signed up Pulaski for one season. Maybe it was just like, oh, we'll I might be here have for been, one and then we'll just see what happens. Who knows? But yeah. I feel like it might have been like, a, oh, let's sign her up for one season and see the response mm. we get. <laughs> and the response probably wasn't what they were hoping for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and it's not like I, like I said, towards the end of the, like the, the latter half of the season, like Pulaski really started to to grow and have yeah. some more opportunities written for her. And it's mm -hmm. not that it was the actress's fault, you know, like she still did good. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but the only thing that's kind of, is that they're just not going to talk about Pulaski? Like it's just, no one talks about it. Just that's that. And they're like, she's just kind of That's so, gone. so that's the only part that's frustrating is like, it's, instead of like referencing it somehow well like, you know it's kind of like with uh last season when it was just like sort of offhandedly they'd sometimes be like, like oh yeah oh, dr. dr crusher's, crusher's you know at starfleet God. medical God. yeah and they just like skip over they it they don't really deal with it as a plot point yeah um so i do feel like they could have they could have given pulaski a little sure. more you know she still deserved that I'd when say. i first watched it i really didn't like her at first but she definitely grew on me um, yeah i'm sure if i were to give it a second like when i give it a second watch someday mm -hmm. i'm sure i will uh you won't hate her quite as much especially because you'll her. know she's coming you know it's yeah. like it's not this There's blind side of eye. oh no <laughs> um <laughs> she's a very um, good actress yes she is i think is very, what you're saying very good actress and the thing is like 
that was so frustrating about losing her and the way that they just so easily mm-hmm. were like, oh, mm-hmm. Dr. Crusher's gone, is there is that relationship there between the mother and the son mm-hmm. on the ship. Um, and it gave it that little extra dynamic, mm-hmm. you know, and the the connection that Picard and Dr. Crusher have. Like there was just, there were all these little like interpersonal connections that were really something. Mm-hmm. Um so it's nice to see her come back and also the fact that they acknowledge she was gone for like a good chunk mm-hmm. you know yeah um and he's 17 and of course he's gonna be a little sassy and a little upset <laughs> about that you know just that moment where they held that shot on her like oh that was such a good shot god yeah. you just you you see it hit her she it hits her and she takes it and it's mm-hmm. just like that's acting <laughs> like yeah. that's so good so beautiful um and i just another like i i love the way they write these stories where they're i just love when they set it up like oh look at this cool thing we're gonna do and then it's like yeah, that's actually that's not kidding. at all what we're gonna do this, this episode is what it's about <laughs> and i'm always yeah. just like wait what <laughs> I mean, we're gonna it's wesley's school experiment that's gonna fuck up everything um, <laughs> i'm amazed course, no one got madder at him they were probably like we don't have time to be mad at you we just need to fix we this. just gotta deal with this <laughs> because of course it would be a school project of wesley's of that course is somehow smart enough to become She's a conscious to- being <laughs> and like <laughs> yeah it's like of course, of course um yeah. he always gets an a he always gets an A. <laughs> Poor I'm so bummed about that. Yeah. It's hard being the the smart one, mm. you know? Uh, We're allowed to have learning experiences. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And sure, uh, oh boy, did Wesley have one in this oh episode. Oh, <laughs> boy. Also, <laughs> I kind of feel like Dr. Crusher a little bit. I'm like, yeah, who yeah. is that girl? Uh, who is his who arm is around? that? Is she, who is that? Who are you? With your with your arms around Wesley, mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, I'm interested to see if that'll come up at all. I don't know. I have no predictions for the future of this season, other than the fact that I fucking knew she would come back. Yeah, I was so I was waiting. I knew. Part of me was like, should we skip the intro so that when you see her in the episode, that's when you find out. But I was like, no, let's do the intro. I don't want to watch her face when her name comes up in the credits. And it was such a good moment. <laughs> So fucking I've been good. holding it in. I and I was like, she may suspect because I'm sure you've seen pictures or th- images of Star Trek from stuff you haven't seen that have her in it. So I was like, she may suspect that she's gonna come back, but like I've been trying to her to not say anything. I haven't seen anything with her. Like no meme so was, like, or anything surprise. like that. Um I straight up wanted to do like a mic drop and leave. <laughs> like I was just like bye i'm done that's it goodbye <laughs> uh that was just so good i was like Kate hey, make fun. Um, yeah so yay. yay i don't know i'm excited i'm excited yeah. to see what's gonna happen in well, this season i think we uh wrap up here and uh mm. see what the next episode is yeah <laughs> so y'all catch your gal for gals the next I- time As we boldly watch what no noob has ever watched before. That's me. (laughs) Blah, blah. Bye, everyone. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a little thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when we post new content, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell in the corner.